everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm Amber Rose also known as the religious hippie you can basically follow me on any social media platform or check out my official website at thereligioushippie.com first I want to apologize for my voice I'm getting over a slight cold but I'm doing better now so it's awesome God is so good but one of my followers DM'd me and asked me if I could do a video on how to prayer journal because they're not sure where to start, what to do. And here's the thing, every prayer journal is going to be different depending on the person. We're not all the same, therefore there are different things in a prayer journal that I'm going to need and somebody else is not going to need and vice versa. So just take this as like an outline, a grain of salt. You don't have to follow this exact thing that I'm doing, but these are just some tips to help you get started in case you're not sure where to start or what to do. So very quick, before we start getting into the logistics of prayer journaling, I first want to answer why we prayer journal. And I think lifeteen.com said it best and they stated, a prayer journal is a personal record of your conversations with God. I love that. I think that's so accurate because, I mean, let's be honest, how many times have I fallen asleep at night, I've asked God for something, forgot what I asked for in the morning, and then all of a sudden I'm feeling all these trials and things? Well, it's because I asked God for something, forgot what I asked Him for, and now I'm uncertain on how to approach the situation. Whereas if we have documented conversations with God in our prayer journal, we can go back to those conversations, we can see how God has impacted our lives, we can see the prayers He's answered, and a lot of times, like I've said in so many videos, He doesn't always answer prayers the way that we expect Him to. Sometimes, yes, because they are in line with His will, but not always. And so sometimes we will miss God answering one of our prayers if we're not, you know, staying vigilant and like, remembering some of our past conversations with God. So anyways, prayer journaling is great for that. For me personally, prayer journaling helps me focus on God. It's one of those things where I get distracted so often, especially during mass when I'm praying, just, I've tried literally everything to stay focused. And you guys know that I've struggled with this since I came back into my faith. But staying focused during prayer is one of those things I just cannot figure out. And tons of people have given me amazing advice and I try to follow that advice, but it just doesn't work for me. The one thing that has worked for me when focusing during prayer is prayer journaling. So if you get distracted easily during prayer, maybe try prayer journaling. Who knows, it might open up a whole other avenue of communication with God. Plus, a lot of saints have kept prayer journals, like St. Therese of Lisieux. I know that technically the story of a soul is more of an autobiography, but personally, like, those were her written words in her journals. Like, I consider those to be prayer journals. St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, like, so many people kept prayer journals. And we are so blessed that we can go back today and read those saints' words and how they were feeling and what they were struggling with. And it can really help us in our own journey and what we're struggling with. And that's why God has the saints to tell us, like, you are different, you are unique, and all these saints are different and unique, and there's thousands of them. Understand that you have a family in heaven that is willing to pray for you and help you through these struggles and have been exactly where you have been at one point. So anyways, I absolutely love that, and who knows? You know, your prayer journal might be something that people are reading a hundred years from now, so I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's get into the actual video. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is supplies. The first thing you're gonna need is kind of obvious, you're gonna need a prayer journal. This prayer journal is mine. It is embroidered, it's yellow, and it's embroidered. I absolutely love this prayer journal. Um, this is what the inside kind of looks like, so there's a thing up here for the date. Um, I absolutely love this journal. I got it from either Target or Ross. I don't really remember, but this is my prayer journal. Something that I've kind of discovered over trial and error is that if I love the journal, if I absolutely love the journal, I am more likely to write and do and stay consistent in my uh, in my prayers, in my prayer journaling. And so I find when I actually like looking at the journal, I like the way the inside is kind of mapped out. Some people prefer dots, like those like fancy dots over lines so that they can do the cute little different calligraphy and stuff. And that's awesome. If you like that, go for that, go for that type of journal. I'm not that creative. Um, and I prefer to just write stuff out. So I personally love the lines and I love the embroidery. I love the color. Um, and so because it looks appeasing to me, I'm more likely to use it. Now, another thing you can get, though this is not required, so to speak, you can get a bunch of different colored pens and you can get a different colored sticky notes. I love sticky notes. They're like my addiction. I have so many sticky notes, um, but I use them. So 
technically it works. But I absolutely love getting different colored pens for different parts of my prayer journaling. So I highly suggest doing that, but you don't have to. Okay, now that you have your prayer journal, your pens, all the supplies that you need, now it's time to actually prayer journal. The first thing you want to do before you start journaling is to ask the Holy Spirit to open your mind, your eyes, and your heart to the truth. Whatever he wants you to understand, whatever is God's will, you want to ask the Holy Spirit to open your mind, your heart, and your eyes to that truth. Once you've done that, now it's actually time to write in your prayer journal. I usually always start my prayer journal with Dear God, or Hi God, or something addressing God, like Hello Father, that one's kind of weird. Personally, I just like saying Dear God. After I do that, then I pick a colored pen and I go into Thanksgiving prayers. Now I'm not going to show you because those are between me and God, but usually my Thanksgiving prayers are orange and so those start with thank you God for, and then list as many things that you can possibly think of that day that you were thankful for. It could be a roof over your head, food in your stomach, your family, your friends, it could be the nice weather, it could be a car, it could be a grade that you got that was really good. Just Anything that you can think of to thank God for, thank Him for it. Once I've thanked God for everything I can think of for that moment, then I choose a different colored pen and I go into conversation with God. I tell Him about what's on my heart, what struggles I've been going through, my emotions, my feelings, what I'm struggling with, what I'm happy about, um, achievements, disappointments, all the, all everything, everything, okay? You need to journal everything. You cannot just keep things built up because yes, God already knows what's on your heart, but for us as humans, we need to be able to talk things out. God understands that because guess what? He has a son. His son is, you know, 100% God, 100% human, blah, blah, blah. So we understand that humans have emotions and it's good to have those emotions because otherwise God would not have given us those emotions. Now, it's really important that we have control over our emotions so our emotions don't control us because our emotions can become sinful at points. And so it's so important that we really take that time to detail things that are bothering us and like write them out in our prayer journal and make sure that we're not holding anything back. Because when we get that off our chest, we have it in our prayer journal, we've prayed that to God, we've put it in God's hands, we can then breathe a breath of fresh air that we have no longer control over that situation and that situation is now in God's hands. And so I think that's so powerful and it's personally helped me so much in my faith life, especially when I have struggled with God. As I've mentioned in the past, I've struggled to trust him. I'll link that video below for you guys. Um, but this is something that has really, really helped me. This can take up to multiple pages because personally, I always have a ton to tell God about even though he already knows every single detail of my life. I still am like, I need to fill you in on everything. I'm going to fill your cup, spill the tea, let's go. I have so much. And sometimes this takes up like 10 pages. So my poor prayer journal has been through a lot. But like, that's the point. That's why we have a prayer journal. So usually my conversation color is blue because I find it a very calming color. And it's something that calms me as I talk. I don't feel like my emotions kind of like rile up. I don't know if that's anybody else. Maybe I'm just crazy. But blue really helps to calm me. And I think there's some kind of psychological thing in there. Like blue is a very calming color along with green. But like forest green, not lime green. Ooh. Once I have filled all the 10 pages with whatever tea I need to spill to God, I will then go and pick another color, which is usually either green or it could be like pink or something. I like a bright, vibrant color though for this. And this is when I write out all my prayer intentions and people I am praying for in this specific moment. And so then that way also when you go back, you can look through the people that you have prayed for, the intentions you've prayed for, and maybe it'll spark a memory and like, oh, I should pray for that person again or oh that you know I wonder how that situation is going I should reach out to that person so it really helps us to kind of stay connected in our prayer life and stay consistent um, so usually I like to choose like a bright pink a bright green a bright yellow something that'll like really catch my eye and I'm like oh my prayer intentions and then I can go through those and see like okay you know this is good that needs some more prayers like I should pray for this person check up on that person that kind of thing and to basically just write those out you can say um, Lord please watch over my my friend 
blank. You can even write intercessory prayers, so like Our Lady of Guadalupe, you know, please look out for the unborn, or Saint Dymphna, please help me with my mental health or my friend with their mental health. Um, it doesn't have to di be directed towards God because of course we know that those intercessory prayers are going towards God, you know, so like you can ask the saints and the saints will petition that prayer to God for you on that specific matter. And then when I am all finished with that, I also end with Thanksgiving prayers, which I use the same color for. And so I will use the same color for my Thanksgiving prayers. And usually it's just anything that I didn't write that I am thankful for that I remembered a little later on. I write that thankful pair, you know, just thank you. Um, sometimes I'll put a little, if I, there's a specific quote that stood out to me in the Bible or in spiritual reading, I'll put a little quote down at the bottom. Uh, you don't technically need to pick a different color for that if you don't want to. I personally do because I just think it's like, whoa, it's different than my Thanksgiving prayers. But I personally love putting little quotes at the bottom because there are so many quotes out there by so many amazing saints. And personally, I don't always remember where a quote comes from, so being able to write it down just kind of helps me memorize it a little bit better. But when I've finished putting down my spiritual reading quote or my Bible quote or doing my Thanksgiving prayers, I then say, Amen. And then that's it. There are so many places that you can go to prayer journal in. My personal favorite place to prayer journal is adoration. It's a place where my mind can truly be quiet while I am journaling. And honestly, I might go tonight because I haven't been able to in the last two weeks because I've been like pet sitting and all this crazy stuff. Um, so that's actually a good idea. I might go to adoration tonight. But the point is, is that you can basically prayer journal anywhere, literally anywhere. Um, you can do it in a park, during church, during adoration, in your room, 12 o'clock at night, you know, 3 in the morning. Who cares? Nobody's judging. God's always awake, obviously. If you gotta write, you gotta write. Just remember that. That's all for this video today, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really would love to know where you guys love prayer journaling. Is prayer journaling new to you? Is it old to you? Have you been doing it? How has it helped your prayer life? Comment below answers to any of those questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!